If you're dealing with a faulty iPhone 13 Pro motherboard, or need to change it due to a forgotten iCloud password and activation lock problems, you're in the right place. In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll walk you through the entire process of replacing the motherboard to get your iPhone back in working order. Let's go over the tools you'll need. A screwdriver set, plastic pry tools, tweezers, a suction cup, the screen disassembly tool, waterproof sealing tape, and battery adhesive strips. Links to all tools and parts are in the video description below. For the best results, I advise using a magnetic mat to organize screws and small parts throughout the disassembly process, especially for repairing a device like an iPhone 13 Pro. This will make the reassembly much easier and you don't have to worry about the screws getting lost. They will all securely adhere to the magnetic mat. So, let's get started. Power off your iPhone. Using the pentalobe screwdriver, Remove the two screws located at the bottom of the iPhone, next to the charging port. Using a hairdryer or a heat gun, apply heat to the bottom edge of the iPhone for about one minute. This softens the adhesive, making it easier to separate the screen. Be cautious not to overheat the phone. Attach a suction cup near the bottom edge, pull up gently, and insert the blade edge into the gap. Apply firm, steady pressure to create a slight gap between the screen and the body. Insert a plastic spudger into the gap to begin separating the screen from the adhesive. If the adhesive is stubborn, apply more heat. Carefully slide the plastic spudger around the edges of the iPhone to separate the adhesive seal, taking extra care not to insert the spudger deeply to avoid damaging internal components. Next, heat the top edge of the iPhone. This step is crucial as the adhesive near the front sensors is particularly strong. Gently slide the spudger around the top right corner. Be careful not to insert the spudger more than three millimeters to avoid damaging the sensors. If your screen is cracked, wearing safety glasses is also a good idea to protect your eyes from loose glass. Gently open the iPhone like a book, but don't fully separate the screen yet. Ribbon cables are still connected. Remove the screws securing the battery and display connector covers. Use a plastic spudger to pry the battery and display connectors up from their sockets on the logic board. Remove the screen. In this guide, I disassemble the US market version of the iPhone, which has an additional 5G antenna in the chassis frame. To disconnect the motherboard from this antenna, the following steps require removing the loudspeaker, Taptic engine, and battery. If your iPhone is not for the US market, you can skip these steps and continue disassembling from the timecode indicated on the screen. If you're unsure which model or region your iPhone is from, check the side panel of your phone. If there is no visible 5G antenna, your iPhone is not for the US market. Only US market iPhones have a 5G band on the side. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws securing the loudspeaker to the frame. Carefully slide tweezers or plastic spudger between and separate the Taptic engine and the adhesive-backed strip. Remove the loudspeaker. Pry up the Taptic engine cable with your spudger, then remove the screws securing it to the frame. Remove the Taptic engine. The battery is secured with three pieces of stretch release adhesive. There are two strips on the bottom edge and one on the top edge of the battery. To remove the battery, you need to carefully pull these adhesive strips. Use tweezers to peel down the black pull tab at the end of the adhesive strip. Remember, very carefully use sharp tools near the battery to avoid puncturing it. Using blunt nose tweezers to grab the pull tab and slowly pull it away from the battery towards the bottom of the iPhone. Be patient. Pull slowly to allow the adhesive to stretch and release.
If an adhesive strip breaks off and you can't retrieve it, apply a small amount of isopropyl alcohol under the battery where the adhesive is stuck. Wait a minute. Then gently pry the battery up using a wide plastic spatula. Remove the battery. Remove the screws that are holding the metal bracket in place. Disconnect the cables and remove the camera module. Take out the SIM card tray. Slide the SIM card eject piston back into the housing. Disconnect all cables from the motherboard. The iPhone 13 Pro motherboard for the US market has an additional ribbon cable that connects to the 5G antenna built into the side of the frame. To remove the motherboard, you need to disconnect this cable. If your iPhone 13 Pro is for the European market, or China, Canada, Brazil, India, and other countries, you can skip this step and proceed to remove the motherboard. Remove the motherboard. Replacing the motherboard on the iPhone 13 Pro, you should know these important things. If you want to retain the face recognition function on your iPhone, you'll also need to replace the Face ID module with the motherboard because they are interconnected by manufacturer software and work as one unit. If you only change the motherboard, the face recognition function will not work anymore because your Face ID module is paired with your old motherboard. However, if you don't need face recognition to unlock your iPhone, you can replace only the motherboard and keep the old face ID module. I've provided a link to a motherboard replacement kit for the iPhone 13 Pro in the video description below. Let's install a new motherboard and test it. You can install a new motherboard with any memory capacity you prefer. For example, if your iPhone has a 256 gigabyte capacity, you can replace it with a 512 gigabyte or one terabyte motherboard. If you forget the iCloud password on your iPhone and it is locked due to activation issues, replacing the motherboard gives you a fresh start, similar to having a new iPhone.
During reassembly, pay close attention to the connectors and make sure they are free of dust. Use an anti-static brush to clean the connectors. Before installing the camera, ensure it is dust-free inside the camera lenses. Now it's time to install the battery. Start by attaching adhesive strips to the back of the battery. These strips will hold the battery securely in place while still allowing for easy removal if you need to replace it again in the future.
Carefully place the new battery into the housing, ensuring that the battery cable connector aligns perfectly with the socket on the main board. Once in place, press down slightly to secure the battery with the adhesive strips. Now that it's all back together, let's test your iPhone to ensure it's functioning. After replacing the motherboard, you may see the message that your iPhone has a non-genuine Apple battery and display. The good news is that this message is not critical, and your device will work fine. Perhaps the manufacturer will remove these errors in new firmware versions. Now that we've confirmed everything is working, let's restore water protection and complete the assembly. To restore the waterproofing of your iPhone, you'll need to apply waterproof sealing tape around the frame. Start by removing any old adhesive from the frame. Use isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab to remove any remaining smaller bits of adhesive. This is also important for better adhesion of waterproof sealing tape. Carefully align the adhesive sealing tape with the iPhone frame and press it into place with a spudger. Once the tape is in place, grab the small pull tab and peel off the front liner to expose the adhesive. First, connect the display cables and then connect the battery cable. Press the display down around the entire perimeter to secure its position. 
fasten the last two screws near the charging port to complete the assembly. If you found this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech guides. Visit our website for additional tech insights and do-it-yourself repair guides. Remember, each tech challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow. You were on How Fix It. Thanks for watching and see you next time.